Well, congratulations, Andrea, on your 2016 RX 350. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Colleen, and I'm going to show you a few things in your car. I know you have to get going. It's been kind of a long process. But what we're going to go over first is we're going to go over your Bluetooth, okay. and then we're going to go towards your audio, and that will lead us into your navigation where I'll show you a few voice prompts to get you out of here. Okay. And um, right now we have this iPad that we that we kind of put things on. Um, once we are done with this, it'll set you up to where you can see the things that we went over and the things that you still need to go over on your vehicle so you know you don't have to go over the same things twice. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take your phone and so um, on your remote control sensor, go ahead and get comfortable, we're gonna hit the menu button. Yeah, perfect. And that's gonna take us to the setup and the phone. Now, if you wanna go over to setup, we can put your Bluetooth phone in. And we're gonna set it up right here just by hitting Bluetooth. Right there, yeah, it's a little sensitive. <laughs> okay, so we are going to go ahead and add a, a Bluetooth phone. And what you wanna do is just go into your settings and when it prompts you, go ahead and put the pin in. And that's perfect. And we're good. Okay, so it says that we're, phone, we're connected by your phone and your audio player. So it looks like you have a lot of music on there, right? You're going to be excited about this. <laughs> okay, perfect. Now, if you go ahead and put your put your hand back on the remote control sensor, let's go up to the back button. The back button is also on your steering wheel and over here if you just feel like clicking on that. So what we're going to go to now is your audio. Right? There you go. This is going to show you all kinds of number of radio presets. You can go all the way up to 36. Okay. Um, so you have some ways to go back. If you want to go ahead and hit your arrow back, Okay, go ahead and go to your menu button again. Okay, so let's go over to radio and we'll set up a couple stations. There's something really neat I want to show you. Okay, right here, we have your mix presets. Now, before, we used to have to set them all the FM stations, and then you'd have to click over and do all AM stations, and then you'd have to click over and do all satellite stations. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are really interested in all sports, you can have the first page be all sports, the next page be all music, you can have your husband or your kids, all kinds of stuff. So you can have satellite, FM, and AM from 7, 8, 9, whatever you'd like. So right now it looks like your favorite station is pulled up because we made sure that was on when we got right in. <laughs> um, so we want to save that probably to number one. So if you head over to your left, right, click up, there we go. Let's set that as station one. If you want to just highlight that, hold it down till it beeps. And there you go. Now your favorite station is set as satellite one on, on channel one on channel 36. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So also if you want to scroll up into your sources, it's going to show what kind of music sources you have. Now, right now we have AM, FM, satellite. And because we, we hooked up your Bluetooth, you have Bluetooth and um, the auxiliary port is right underneath here. There's auxiliary and your USB. USB is not lit up because we don't have anything in there. And auxiliary is just saying that you have that. Okay, so next thing we want to go to um, your navigation. So if you want to go to your maps, I'm going to show you some really cool things. Now this is directional. Up at the top you can pick which way your vehicle faces. You can do north facing, you can do directional, and you can do horizon. Okay. It's just per personal preference. It also shows you how close the GPS um, indicator is. Right now it's set at 75 feet, so you can see the, rate, the all kinds of all kinds of things out there and you can also set where whether you see bank stations and you can see ATMs and you can see gas stations all kinds of stuff that's all okay. stuff you can play with later if you notice to your right you're gonna have your compass your music your telephone your fuel consumption and your climate control those will be things that will be shown on your right hand side and you can just indicate what that is okay. and if you see if the consumption you can go to your right or left and you can also do that on your on your steering column and okay. it'll show you all these things back and forth you don't have to just use this especially when you're driving it might get a little tough okay so now we're going to go to your navigation all we're going to do is we're going to do some voice prompts this is where it gets really fun see the little voice right there with the little three lines we want to push on her and we're going to introduce Please you say a category name go ahead and say any of those navigation pardon navigation sorry could you repeat that like me. <laughs> Navigation. Navigation. Okay. Please say a navigation pumps. command. Find a POI. Find a POI. 
Please say a POI category name. Any of these examples? We'll definitely try Starbucks. Pardon? Starbucks? Starbucks? Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Starbucks. Starbucks. Please say the list number. Number one. Number one. Is this correct? Yes. Yes. And that's as easy as it is. All you have to do is do the voice commands like that. You can always type them in when you're stopped. It won't allow you to do it when you're going. Okay. So the voice prompts are really easy to use. Um, if you see all the things on your steering wheel, you can go mode and voice prompts. You can always interrupt her by hitting it once and then quickly twice again once you get used to saying the voice prompts. Okay. Yeah, so is there any other questions that you had about your new RX? I don't think so. You don't? Okay, well let's go get some Starbucks. Okay. All right. <laughs>